Hello everyone, welcome to a new series that I will probably try to, you know, do. Because, so, yeah, this is a new series. And, uh, it's not that I'm going to be playing through the main story of Xenoblade. As you can see, that's why. I, and the reason why I'm on the home screen is because I am not sure. I don't know, there's like something about, like, has been going on since the game first came out on the Wii. That, to not really show spoilers on the 7th character... So, I've already beat the game on my own time, but I'm going to be doing the extra story for you guys, and uh, it'll be the first time I see the extra story also. So, uh, I maybe spoilers? I'll definitely talk about spoilers, probably. Plus, it I think the extra story is literally after the main story, I don't know, but... I recommend to either play or watch a YouTube video from someone of this game before seeing this or, you know, or you play through it first. It, well, it says it's around, I think, 60 to 80 or 70 hours long for the main story. I beat it in like 39 minutes because I did straight story and because I don't like grinding and I don't like doing side quests too much. I did some. But, and I hated grinding, so <laughs> I, I don't like grinding XP. It's so annoying, at least for me. So I basically just did straight story, and then when it got hard, I did casual mode just to beat that boss, and then I put it back to normal, and then I just kept going. That's basically all I did. And I did get, I know I got the, mm, never mind. Well, I guess, is it really that much of a spoiler? I don't know. Either way, play the game yourself or watch a video of this whole game. And, uh,. That's what I recommend. If you don't give a shit whatsoever, then, uh, yeah, you can join me in this Xenoblade Chronicles. This is my first Xenoblade game. Uh, I kind of just, I ended up watching a video on it, like, watching about, like, half of the game. And then I was like, fuck, I kind of want to play it. So I ended up playing it. I really enjoy it. Still does not be Persona for me. I still enjoy Persona more. Uh, <laughs> uh, one thing about this game, I feel like it's walking simulator sometimes, but, uh, Either way, let's get into it. So that's your spoiler warning, I guess. You probably wouldn't get as much of the game if uh, you didn't uh, see the original, the first part, the actual game first. So I'll be doing a video series on this. And Origami King is coming on the 17th, but I think I get my game because I ordered it on Amazon. I get it on the 21st or maybe earlier, depending if they send it earlier. So I will be doing Origami King. I know I've been out for two days I didn't upload and then I just record I just uploaded one cuphead video that was short because the audio messed up I finally fixed the problem it was, I'm so annoyed because it, we did so much in that video me and Javier and it's so annoying that the audio for my audio was cut because I would have it, the video would have been way longer I put an uncut version there I think it it, it should be yeah it was already uploaded at least for the time of recording uh, it should be uploaded, and I will be uploading this on the same day. So, you know. Either way, uh, Persona will come back after... I'll probably record Persona, and that will come up tomorrow with maybe an episode of Xenoblade 2. Or also Xenoblade, not Xenoblade 2. Either way, let's get into this. We're doing the extra story. Spoilers war uh, this, is, this is your spoilers warning. So leave if you have not beat the game or seen anything, and here we go. Alright, so, extra story. Can't wait to see what this is all about. Maybe I'll do New Game Plus. Because, well, like, I might do it. <coughs> we'll see. Press any button. Okay. A Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected New Game. That's oh. that simple. Today. We use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! All that I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation. It is
What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. One year later. Not only one year. Damn, choke with the new swag. <sighs> All right. Oh, is this uh? There it is. Melia. We're in sight of Alchemar. All right. I'm on my way. Oh. They make her voice deeper? Weird. Ah! Ah! Damn, the shot is down. What do you do? how they have the junks with them. Guess we're still in one piece. Quite. What in the world was that? It happened so quickly that I didn't get a good look myself. I saw some flickering around the capital. Then suddenly, a black beam. A black beam? Some new defensive measure, perhaps. The junks. Can it fly? Some components sustained heavy damage. It won't budge until we can swap them out. Right. It's fine. They're not particularly rare parts. They'll have them in Alchemoth. <sighs> you make it sound very simple. Remember, we are still very much in the dark here. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Sister Bond. I take care of it. Kino handle left side. Gotcha! Those voices. Uh, are those? <laughs> it's Kino and Nene. What are they doing here? Kino and Nene. Shulk, we must help them. Of course. Yes. Oh, some elements of the oh, some elements of this of this new adventure are very different from the adventure so far. The most major points will be introduced on the following pages. Okay. The party gauge. As you proceed through the adventure, instead of chain attacks, you will unlock a new system um, for performing all-out attacks. This persona. 
you're still record. Oh shit! What the hell? No, go back. Go back. Uh, you're still. Uh, there's still required a segment of the gauge to re revive fallen allies. In the new adventure, Shulk has lost his power to see visions. This calls for more caution than before when it comes to your enemies' uh, more powerful attacks. Some allies uh, will battle in ways not presented before. The skill tree system has been removed. There are further uh, changes, so keep an eye out for them as you play. Okay, and we have to play as Melia. Change. New part thing. I usually just play as Shulk most of the time. Uh, okay, and the latency, great. And yes, I did hear that audio coming out. I don't know why it does that. It just does that. Oh yeah, I forgot the map. I'll tell me where to go. I'm just go in the water. Yeah. I'm not sure how I like Melia's voice being a little deeper. It sounds weird. <laughs> Replacement Monado. Wait, what is it called actually? Uh, Monado Replica EX. Alright. Oh, 60. What level am I? 60. Alright, nice. Alright, Theory now. I wonder, are those uh, Ricky's little pawns? Kino, Nene, Is that why they're called? Mama. Meme. Miss Melia, Mr. Shulk. How very welcome. More is always merrier. Uh, Alright, we got some new music. Okay, so I can have one of them. Taken, I guess. Okay, my arts are not in the order I had them before, and they're targeting me, which is really annoying. Oh, I'm just gonna spam. Oh, I don't like how not organized it is. I had like attacks on my left. Did I press the bat? Did I press the button in time? Oh, the delay is not gonna help. Press the button. Come on, we can do it. Let's Behold the power of the Lord. Kino, that was amazing. There you go. Big sis, we did it. Job is good one, Kino. Job is good one. That was amazing, you two. It was like seeing Ryan and Sharla fighting together again. Just so. Fitting. For children of here upon Ricky's household. Yep, I knew it. No injuries, Kino. Meme. <laughs> 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 hmm? Nene, very, very sorry. Kino, not so good with strangers. Oh, really? Most interesting. <laughs> Please do not take personally. If we stay here, there is a risk of another attack. We should move to a safer location. Very well. Is this acceptable? Plenty acceptable. Right. Let's go. Seems like they want to be a hero pawn like their daddy pawn. This place looks promising. We can take a break here. Hmm. So tell us, what were you two doing out there? <coughs> Rather, how did you even get here at all? Melia, I think these two must have come on the junks. What?
got stowaways. Are you quite sure, Shulk? When you consider their relative positions, I think it's quite credible. The capital on the Bionis shoulder. So. Maybe your voice isn't deep. I don't know. Ah. I think it is a little. So that is where the junks comes in then. I appreciate it. But even though we won peace with Zanz's defeat, the rebuilding continues. Much remains to be done. I realize that. And I also know that you've been putting in every effort. So why then? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Shulk, that's... We could be there and back in less than half a day. Mama? I was going to say the laser definitely means people were there, but it is an automated self-defense, so... Kino, maybe better to explain. Mama, it's the same we way. just on a little strolly stroll when we suddenly hear voices. Now, now, Kino. Nene, what Kino with eyes of Rogel? Kino, follow Mr. Shulk from behind and do some sneak peekings. Sister Pon followed Kino and sneak peek on too. Me me me. Me me me. Hmm. So you stowed away like I thought. But what for? Ooh. Kino always look up to Dead Upon. Want to become mighty Hero Pon too. I'm certain Ricky would be most proud. But how did that lead to you boarding our vessel? He see opportunity to help people who are in trouble. That way, can become friends with people everywhere. Mighty Hiropon make friends with every toe step. Or so dead upon say, at least. I see. That does explain things. Many, many sorries. It's, it's not fault of Sister Pon. He's not scored Nene. Fault is of Kino only. Kino. Sincere sorries. Kino wanted to repay debt. Dad upon a mom upon take Kino in when Kino all alone. You were alone? It's true. One day, out of blue, Dad upon bring Kino home. Said, here is brother upon. That day, nobody made comment. Everyone except Kino. Kino, more happy they could say. That why, that why. That so they want like to become orphan. hero upon and repay that to family. Kino, really sorry. Oh, they're so cute. Kino, you do your family honor. Yours is a most noble sentiment. I am utterly certain that Ricky and Oka are proud of you too. That was an mm. Oka. Actually, Melia and I are in a bit of trouble right now. We could use the help. For really? Uh huh. Oh, if you know, must. You really twist wing. But fine. Will allow to be sidekicks of Kino. Kino, wrong word. Supposed to say, friends. <laughs> I love the little noipon, noipon, napon. So, we'll be heading for the capital to find parts for the junks. Yes, about that. Hmm? It's a bit of a hike, but could we check out that cape? Is that a house? Explain. I'm a bit concerned. 
What you said about defensive measures. You fear we may come under fire again. Is that it? Yeah. It is true. Caution frequently pays off in the long run. The cape it is. Great. It's settled. Legends of Hero Volcano! It all start here! <laughs> Mahay! Are we gonna have a, a Xenoblade 3 and he's the, the main protagonist? The event theater has been added on the to the title screen that you can review cutscenes. All right. Uh, the weather and time of day, not for all events. Uh, character appearance already required looks. Okay. Actual required looks only. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, well, I do actually have other things. So I can go with my old outfit too. Here, let me see. Yes, he can. I actually like his new outfit. What is it? Rex? Rex shoes? Rex bottoms? And this is their stuff. Then you can have Melly's outfit too, huh? Yeah. World Ender. We don't have any stuff. We got a lock on resist? What does that do? Uh, increases lock on resist by 15%. Don't know what that is. <laughs> So they both have clubs, I would guess, yeah. You could change her weapon appearance if I can go down. There you go. Now, is this the main staff that you guys think it is? I don't know. The like. Oh, look at that. So the reserve. I wonder if it's only going to be us four. I mean, that might be why, because normally it's just a picture of the person. Huh. Okay. We'll keep Kino. Alright. So, nope, wrong way. And there's a pin tiger. And it's a higher level than me. Great. There you go. There you go. Oh, I forgot to change the thing. To organize the, uh. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. I forgot to organize the thing. Oh wait, who healed me? I should have probably looked at their skills too. And he's on the side. I mean, it's not. Man, it's busted. I know, I'm not the best in this game. Oh. Nah, I tried hard. Plus, my capture thing is not that great, and there's delay. So, uh, I need to fix the arts, how they're organized, because I liked how I had them. Alright, there we go. Can I level them up? I can, but it seems like they're already pretty good on how they are. Hers I had different too. Oh, what is this healing gift? Did she... Oh, okay. I remember that move. Alright. She just... So she has like all of these art. You know, I guess I can leave hers. I mean, they use a gun? Wait, what? Heal bullet? Oh, so you're the one that healed. Why do you have... Like, why are you like Sharla? Noggin shot. And he, she's dumb, Ben. <laughs> or, no, no, she's not dumb, but she's freaking... Oh, that's why they said Sharla and Ricky. I mean, Sharla and, uh... Fuck, what are they? <laughs> oh, then we definitely want fucking... Uh, Ryan better than... Uh, than other girl. That I, can, I forget name. Charla, jeez. Yeah, so uh, she's like Ryan, while the other one is like Charla. Kind of chill. Nene, 
Lady. Can you not target me? I'm just trying to set all over there. Why, why? I pressed the button. Okay, the delay is really gonna fuck me up, isn't it? It's like a second night. At least it kinda seems like it sometimes. Alright, you wanna go? Round one. Let's focus our efforts. She has sword drive. It looks more like club than like a club. Oh my god, this one. Oh my god. The delay. I hate it so much. I swear I'm pressing the button. Here we go. Alright, where is this one? Alright. Die already! Oh, I just noticed my help. Alright. Do you have another armor? Cyclone. I pressed the burn! I'm not armor. Alright, there you go. Ow, ow. Oh my god, I freaking hate Papa. Help! Oh my god, this is really bad. Thank you. This is really bad. This is really bad. This thing needs to die. I swear. I swear. Melia revived me. Alright, let me encourage her. Oh, nope, she's dead. Alright, it's fine. This guy's almost dead too. There's another one! Okay, it worked this time. Nope. <laughs> Looks like he spoke too soon. <laughs> Troll. Imagine fighting God, but then you get fucking die from that. Alright, so I kind of made it back. I just followed the path this time. And, uh, well, it kind of helped, I guess. I, I didn't know the monsters are attacking me, so that's nice. And we're almost there. Little bug thing. Um, okay, I'm not even gonna attempt to read it. There's a little abandoned house we should see. Oh, it doesn't let me though. Wrong button. Oh, there are people here. Wait, some high end here. So, like, the, all the high end here are just half homs now, huh? There's no pure high end here, is there? Many, many bird people here. Are there really only high end here living here? Oh, there, yeah, strangers. Oh, hello. I see. You've had a rough time of it. However, I suggest you steer Maxis. clear of Alkamoth. Even if you do somehow get there in one piece, don't expect the transporters to be running. Oh? Why's that? The thing that shot at you was no defense platform. It was a monster we've taken to calling the Fog King. Fog the Fog King. King? Yeah. Suddenly showed up in Alkamoth a few months back. From what I gather, you're from the Imperial Guard. Are the swords you carry just for show? Taking a sword to it is folly. It laughs at our attacks. It's like hacking at smoke. Blows pass clean through it. Must be ghost! Ghost not shoot beams, dum-dum. Dum-dum. So that's why you call it the Fog King. We fought in defense of our home. We were ready to die, and many of us did. But in the end, it won us nothing at all. The Fog King's attacks tore into us hard. Eventually, 
We gathered the High End here, and anyone else we found, and gave up the capital, so that we might live. How awful. <laughs> My grieving heart belongs there. Our heartland, our capital. Yet I cannot even mourn it. <sighs> Maxis. Huh? Yes? Please, you have to tell us how to get inside. Shulk, be serious. Boy. Are you hard of hearing? Bro, I fuck I died. <laughs> then you should know better. No matter the situation, we have to go. Stupid if I fix folks, we can all leave this place. Then, once we're in Colony 9, we can make plans to retake Alchemoth. No point. Why not? Shulk, do you think we took all that lying down? Huh? We're not stupid, you know. We did all we could. It's true. I want to go home. But that's a dream that won't come to pass, and it already cost too many lives. I Maxis. fought God, it's fine. I understand where you're coming from. Still, I have to be blunt with you. Let it go. Is... Uh... Melia a, really a princess anymore? Or a queen, I guess? Empress? Now what? Judging from the speech, I can't see us convincing him. So this means we're stuck here? Quite a predicament, Empress Melia. Well, I guess she is an emperor. Still. Who are you? How do you know my name? I humbly beg your pardon. Gelgar, at your majesty's service. Formerly of the personal protection division of the Alchemoth Guard Regiment. Is that so? Then the pardon is mine to beg, Sir Gelgar. Gelgar please, Gengar? Dispense with the majesty. Perish the thought, your majesty. <laughs> the recent war has rid us of the wicked purebloods. A new age dawns. And we half-breeds are chosen for its caretakers. With you, Lady Melia, as our shining paragon, I cannot but address you as Majesty. Hm. I have no patience for weedling. Especially from knaves who spit on their ancestors. I would never dream of doing such. I merely spoke plain truth, no more. As you wish. But the majesty address is burdensome to me. If you absolutely insist. Until you deign to acquiesce, Lady Melia will have to suffice. So kind, Sir Gelgar. Make no mention of it, Lady Melia. Sir Gelgar. We really need to get to Alchemoth, no matter what. Ah, yes. I have heard your exchange with Maxis. Hindering the Empress's triumph. A narrow-minded fool, if ever there was one. <laughs> to the rosy room. To begin the authentication process, one must raise their hand to the transporter. The device is configured in such a way that only some of the Hyentia in this land and the Imperial family may pass. Hence, Lady Melia should not have the slightest issue activating it. A similar mechanism to the tombs, then. That's our ticket into Alchemoth. Yes. Tasty news! Friend Galgor is good friend! <laughs> kind thanks, bird mister. Not at all. I am but a humble servant in Lady Melia's employ. If it not displease my ladyship too grossly, may I offer you my companionship on your journey? I have a modicum of skill with the blade. Please rest assured. 
I appreciate the offer, <laughs> but must refuse. Like we do not lack for strength. Indeed. A great shame. Should the need arise, I shall remain ready to serve. Or no. Certainly. By the way, Sir Galgar, this outpost appears to consist of naught but soldiers. Where might all the other refugees reside? They dwell beyond the Grandel Ramparts, which lie below this point. They live at a remove from you, then? Yes, because of the Machina who live there. What do you mean? Might you have forgotten? When the war broke out, it was the Machina's treachery that lit the fuse. Were it not for them, we needn't have lost our brethren and our home. <clears throat> you couldn't stand the Machina and thus moved away? Precisely. But the war is concluded, Sir Gelgar. Some simply cannot let go so easily. <sighs> so we've still got some racist people? Melia, shall we go see for ourselves? Ah, yes. Very well. Sir Gelgar, we will take our leave of you now. Do please take care of yourselves. You'll find passage to the capital through the Cragmore Caverns. Sir Gelgar, thanks for this. See friend later. Please to be extra careful of self. <laughs> the same to you all. Uh, visiting shops, you can buy weapons, armor in the shops to help you on your journey go smoother. Uh, there is no lack of. <clears throat> There's no lack of people having problems on the Bionis' shoulder. Complete the quest they've given you and obtain rewards such as money and equipment. And the, okay. Color! Color! It says color! British game, British game! <laughs> well, British dub, really. Uh, frick. Wrong button. Alright. British dub, British dub. I actually like. I actually kind of like that it's, uh, British and not just English, you know? And then, what is it, Xenoblade 2? I think it's Scottish, apparently. Alright, well, I'm going to end this episode here of Xenoblade, uh, Chronicle, Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected. Uh, I always call it DLC, but I know it's not DLC. But either way, are our wings better, bigger? I feel like they're a little bigger. Either way, I'm going to end this episode here, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!